So this was my first attempt at building a Winlink uh, system that I could operate uh, mobile from wherever I happen to be. What you're looking at is the underneath of a Jeep Wrangler seat. Uh, right back here, you've got the Raspberry Pi. That's its uh, power cord connection. And then a little further back, you can see where the signal link plugs in. Uh, there's the signal link sitting there, and it's sitting on the top of uh, the base of my 857D uh, radio. Uh, so it's kind of a mess of wires down here. But what I used was uh, a combination of software to make this work. I apologize for the shaky video. We'll do the best we can. Uh, but I used Direwolf AX25 Pat Winlink client, and you can check out the Pat Winlink client at getpat.io. Uh, and then I used uh, a utility called SoCat on the Raspberry Pi uh, that did some port forwarding for me. And then we created an ad hoc network that is served up. Uh, so I can connect to that ad hoc network with my iPhone and see all of this happening in a browser. We'll do that in just a minute. Uh, the one thing I didn't realize when I built this project was that Android phones cannot connect to a ad hoc network without uh, being rooted. Uh, I run an iPhone, so it's just something that I wasn't aware of. The iPhone connected right up, uh, but I don't, uh, I don't have a rooted Android phone, so it's not something that I can try with an Android. I think going forward, we're going to try to make that a wireless access point instead of a ad hoc network uh, so that any cell phone would have uh, no trouble connecting to it. But for now, this works and maybe uh, changing it over to an access point uh, will be a future project. So let's take a look at the way it makes the connection now. Okay, so I'm connected up to the ad hoc network uh, that the Raspberry Pi inside the Jeep is throwing out. Um, we're going to try to make a connection to a node over in Nashville. Uh, as we do this, you'll be able to watch down here in the bottom. This is a terminal window that's uh, being fed directly from the Pi to this web page. And also across the top, I believe you'll be able to see uh, where it's connected and then also receiving the message. So let's go ahead and make that connection to the Winlink node. We'll uh, click the menu button up here, and then uh, where it says action, we'll click there, and then the connect. Now as this starts, you'll also be able to hear the packet going back and forth from the radio that's sitting uh, just out of frame to the left. So first thing it says is uh, select the alias that we want to use. So I'm going to select WC4EOC. It'll tell us our transport is AX25 and our target that we're calling is WC4EOC-8. Now, I did not set up rig control on the Raspberry Pi. If you had, you could also put the frequency in here and it would automatically switch the radio. Uh, for the time being, I'm just uh, manually changing the radio to the right frequency. But let's go ahead and make that connection and see if we can retrieve the test message that I sent just a minute ago from my Yahoo account. Alright, and now down in the terminal it shows disconnected. Here's the test message that we sent in, so we'll click on it. And there it is, test message for the video. So the connection has completed and we did receive our message. So fun little project uh, that we played with. We need to make some modifications going forward, but uh, definitely learned a lot in this. Alright, see you guys soon.